Hi, and welcome to the poster number 606. 606, we are August 28. And I'll continue to uh, create the design with the, the silver, silver gray brine. in a very quick way because today will be another busy day so let's start to design the poster um, I'm thinking about the background. Should it stay black? Probably not. I think it should be something like uh, light gray. I want to use a red color because yesterday I make uh, a poster with blue color. And just to change, I want to use, uh, I want to use red today. Yeah, no, no real reason, just a wish, an instant wish that I will satisfy as soon as possible. Let's open this folder if possible. Select all the layer inside and change the font color. I got a oh, here you are. I want a dark gray. <coughs> Maybe I should take a color of the brain there. Dark gray. <coughs> Darker. Yeah, no. Ah, oh, come on. Okay, okay. I think this one will take a long time. But that allow me to think a little bit about uh, what I will do for the next steps. And I like it yesterday's poster. It was uh, interesting and I want to continue a little bit in this way but maybe I will do something totally different I don't know I will see what happens right now
by applying some colors maybe it will bring me a new ID and I will see what I will do because um, yeah I don't prepare um, yeah I prepare nothing for the poster I just open Photoshop and start to to deal something and uh, it come the, yeah, the final vision of the poster come uh, little by little I really prepare uh, nothing and I should prepare something a little bit I mean at least a sketch or uh, or think the day before about uh, what I will do but uh, no I don't so I said I want to use red color so I have to add uh, to add the square no a rectangle a red rectangle behind the brain um, let's try that kind of way And I want to place you in the center of the canvas as well as the brain. Again, something uh, symmetrical. <coughs> I have to stay simple so I will try to stay simple Now I think uh, the idea is to is to create uh, some layer with the brain. Um, I mean uh, overlapping some part of the brain on each other's shape. Ah, totally not. Uh, okay, let's take the shape. the selection of this shape copy and paste on this part of the layer there get rid of the shape here command T what about uh, grow it from 110% Here we are. Transform in progress. Wait. Okay, 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 okay. Um, for the next step, uh, what it is possible to do? Mm. Um. Create a shadow. Yeah. 
Let's take the darkest part of the brain here and paint into the selection. Yeah, the process of uh, shadow is, uh, is really always uh, the same. We can do it by double clicking, by double click on the on the layer there, and uh, choose the other little option. Uh, it's not called uh, shadow. It's called. Uh, it's called, it's called, I forget the name in English. Uh, drop shadow. Or almost the same. And uh, you can deal, uh, you have some option there, but uh, yeah, it's not uh, enough free to transform in case if uh, you need it better. And uh, I prefer to have uh, I prefer the shadow have uh, its own layer because it's better if I want to move it or change it. You don't have to go in the option and try to to play with the with the button and push them. I feel more free like that, and uh, it's really taking a long time now to paint uh, this little brain there. Since it's really not possible like that. Um, yeah, it's 5.58 in the morning. It's still pretty early. So let's use the Gaussian Blur. Okay. Okay. Filter, it's not blur, progress, progress, progress. Okay, 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 calm down, Photoshop. Calm down. Just do it as fast as possible. Um, yeah, yeah, what uh, can I do next is uh, to move a little bit the shadow inside there because it's a little bit strong, so I will get, uh, I will use the shadow, uh, the transparency of the field just a little bit. 68% uh, looks uh, okay. And now, if you want to wait 10 more minutes, I will create a shadow for the brain. So I select the brain, I hit B on the keyboard, and I paint inside the brain. <clears throat> so come on Yeah, if you are excited and a bit nervous and working on Photoshop on Photoshop during that happens, I think you can get crazy. You really can get so crazy. Fortunately, I'm still a bit tired of the wake up. 
so I cannot get angry. I'm not often angry. Very strange. Uh, I'll start to sleep again if uh, Photoshop doesn't work well. Faster, I mean. I make a good job, I make a good job. But if it can be quicker, it will be okay too. I'll accept that. Oh, please. So now I create the shadow for the brain there. It's totally under. I use the same Gaussian blur by going on filter. Okay, I got it. I didn't paint all the part of the brain. Here we are. Gaussian blur. Oh no. I still get the selection. And Gaussian blur. Up, done. Okay, Bank, background is not. It's not what I want. I want a noisy background. A noisy background, and for that I have to add noise. Convert to smart object. It's totally fine. Let's see the options there. Caution. Uniform, monochromatic, for sure. Mm, looks okay. Let's see what is possible to do with uh, with. Uh, Mosaic effect over the Gaussian uh, the noise background. Okay, pretty uh, similar to uh, to just a pixelate effect. What it look like a little bit. No, yeah, relatively fine, I think. Let's uh, make it sweeter effect over there. It's too much. Okay, let's play with the transparency. Yeah, certain. How does it look like? It looks uh, relatively fine. It's not so obvious, but it's there. And maybe the shadow should be a little bit more stronger. Yeah. Like this. And here, like this. Let's duplicate those two layers one more time. Command T and I grow them to 100% 10 before, so 100% 10 again, so it's 120%. And 
it's okay. Oh, let's uh, design by instinct. Um, I want to paint this brain in red and use it as a vector shape. I like if it's a vector shape. So still waiting. So it's a work on progress. And the color wheel will disappear soon. That's a good amount of luck. And it's done. So I select the shape, command T, I make it smaller. Um, no, no, that's not fine. There is something wrong there. Um, uh, don't want a clear background. I want a dark background and I will use a pure black color. Yeah. Said I will use red. I will use. I will use um, a gradient. A red gradient. A red to purple gradient. Uh, which color to choose? I want um, mm, yeah, like blue. No, yeah. Yeah, let's see what happens with that. Increase the stroke of the gradient. 120, place it in the front of the larger brain there. And it's relatively okay. Now I want to let pass this one behind the first brain there, but the, the first part of the brain. So I come there to create a mask layer. I select uh, the second brain and I paint into the mask layer in black to remove this part of the square rectangle. And it is done like this. Um, I'm not satisfied with the rectangle, so I change, change it. And the brain, the brain looks, uh, uh, something wrong there. Oh, not the mask layer. 
<clears throat> I want to apply uh, levels. Let's see what happens. If I play with the black and white of the brain and it already look a little bit better. So let's add this to there and there. Hey, come on. There you are. I merge them, select the two layer and uh, hit command E, command E for each. Up, yeah, yeah, it's fine. Um, I save this shit. Uh, no. I just uh, selected the wrong uh, part of the, the, the wrong brain only. So I select it, I place my layer there and i apply oh no the gradient there i want and maybe this one looks not so okay let's select another color maybe a lighter purple yeah yeah looks fine um, Okay, I come on this new layer, I hit the keyboard G for gradient. And I cre create a gradient, but not a radial one, a linear I want. Okay, not that way. Too much red. Still a bit, bit too much. Here we are. And I want to apply a blending mode, but I don't know which one. Ah, overlay looks fine. Linear light looks fine too. Linear light. <clears throat> mm. I don't ask why I want to cut this part of the brain. Go and see, erase and paste it there like that. Have a little repetition over there here like that exactly and now i create a shadow for each of this little shape first i have to paint it uh, uh. Paint it. Filter, blur, Gaussian blur like usually. Yeah, I know it's very repetitive process sometime, but it's like that and it's still very funny to do it. Same a thousand times per day if you make something fine or cool or interesting or inspiring. Or whatever uh, cool words you want, you want, you want. Um, well, it's also pretty boring sometimes. Like now, I have to do it every time, but it's okay. Gush and blur. Doing. 
home let's make them above this yeah it's exactly that let's create a geometric uh, rectangle uh, rectangle is always geometric uh, that's sure maybe not i don't know let's take the gradient i previously created mm, not the stroke i want to fill it with this black is a gradient uh, no, 45 now okay 90 okay zero here we are current t place it like this up here Maybe you should not disappear there, you should disappear. You are maybe a bit too sick. So let's make it thinner, like the double amount of this stroke there. And maybe you are too long too. No, I mean, that's for sure, but why I see maybe. Oh, oh. We have the background uh, selected too. No, no, no. Background, you stay there. I don't need you to move. You just a few or much more. Okay, no. Yeah, it looks fine. It's okay. Um, let's see if I merge those two layers, looks fine. I want to select an area of them. And uh, let's create uh, rectangles. More rectangles. Here, duplicate. Okay, now let's uh, make crazy effect by duplicating this layer there. Place it uh, under the, the shadow and go with dissolve. Let's see what happens. Just do nothing. Okay, normal, convert, no, okay, fine, okay, no duplicate this layer, let's select a third an ellipse into this part of the poster and see what I can do with that. Or maybe make a 
pixelate effect and enlarge it much bigger. Now I only have that of the brain. I was on the wrong layer when I select the elliptical shape here. Currency command V, enlarge command T, and enlarge. Okay, maybe it's too much, but it doesn't matter for now. Blur, no, pixelate, pixelate mosaic, and see how it looks like. Okay, much more, much more. More looks enough. And let's cut it uh, like the shape of the brand down. Command C, remove that part. Command V and let's place it behind the shape there how it's too too light in too light shape. Let's try to catch the same angle down than then down. Oh, it's not like this, it's like that. Around approximately, we can know. <laughs> Let's place it there. I just uh, selected the wrong uh, part of the, the, the wrong brain only. So I select it, I place my layer there, and I apply, oh no, the gradient there I want. And maybe this one looks not so okay. Let's select another color. Maybe a lighter purple. Yeah, yeah, looks fine. Um, okay. I come on this new layer. I hit the keyboard G for gradient. And I create create a gradient but not a radial one a linear i want okay not that way too much red still a bit too much here we are and I want to apply a blending mode, but I don't know which one. Uh, overlay looks fine. Linear light looks fine too. Linear light. <clears throat> mm. I don't ask why I want to get this part of the brain go and see erase and paste it there like that have a little repetition over there here like that exactly and now I create a 
shadow for each of this little shape. First, I have to paint it. Uh, uh, <coughs> paint it. Filter, blur, Gaussian blur, like usually. Yeah, I know it's very repetitive process sometimes, but it's like that and it's still very funny to do it. Same a thousand times per day if you make something fine or cool or interesting or inspiring or whatever uh, cool words you want. You want, you want. Um, well, it's also pretty boring sometimes, like now, I have to do it every time, but it's okay, gush and blur, doi, oh, let make them above this yeah it's exactly that let's create a geometric uh, rectangle well, a rectangle is always geometric that's sure maybe not I don't know let's take the gradient previously created mm, not the stroke I want to fill it with this black with the, with the gradient uh, no, 45 now k90 ok0 here we are Community place it like this up here. Maybe you should not disappear there, you should disappear. And you are maybe a bit too sick. So let's make it thinner like the double amount of this stroke there and maybe you are too long to no but that's for sure my way i see maybe oh oh we have the background uh, selected too no 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 background you stay there i don't need you to move you have just a few are much more okay no yeah looks fine it's okay um let's see if i merge those two layer looks fine i want to select an area of them and uh, let's create uh, rectangles more rectangles here duplicate
Yeah, now let's uh, make a crazy effect by duplicating this layer there. Place it uh, under the, the shadow and go with dissolve. Let's see what happens. Just do nothing. Okay, normal. Convert, no. Okay, fine. Okay, not duplicate this layer. Let's select uh, serve an ellipse into this part of the poster and see what I can do with that. Or maybe make a pixelate effect and enlarge it much bigger. Now I only have that of the brain. I was on the wrong layer when I select the elliptical shape. Here, Command C, Command V, enlarge, Command T, and enlarge. Okay, maybe it's too much, but it doesn't matter for now. Blur, no, pixelate, pixelate mosaic, and see how it looks like. Okay, much more, much more more looks enough and let's cut it uh, like the shape of the brand down command C remove that part Command V and let's place it behind the shape there are it's too too light in too light shape. Let's try to catch the same angle down than them down. Oh, it's not like this, it's like that. Around approximately, you can know. <laughs> Let's place it there. And place this uh, rectangle around here. Place it behind the brain. Yeah, looks fine. Let's duplicate it. Maybe there. And go over the brain there. Here, yeah. Command T to change, to rotate it easily. Okay, 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 okay. Start to look fine. Yeah. Uh -huh. or maybe, maybe mental process number five. 
Yeah, 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 it's okay, it's fine. Mental process. Mm, let's place a black square behind like a hole in the poster but that's fine mental process let's try the gradient to see what happens ah not bad not bad not bad but it's too the way it is too strong to black i should use medium yeah, medium is much better. Let's see with the regular. Ah, yeah. Yeah, it's okay. It's fine. Paragraph, center. Ah. No. That's much better, Rydis. Let's make it a bit uh, smaller. Maybe use black for the font? No. I'm not sure. No, no. White is more better. Mm, maybe I miss some white element too. Let's trace a circle there. An ellipse. If you prefer. Layer mask. Okay. Ah, wrong option selected. Rasterize layer. Like that, I will can select it. I come to painting to in black in my mask layer there. I repeat the process with this shape that I select and one more time paint here paint not erase with the eraser mental process um, Let's place other element there. Here. No, no, it's too much, it's too much. Si t'as froid, tu vas sous la couverture, ma belle. Tu venais juste finir de travailler, d'accord? Non. Oh, ce serait sympa, j'ai bientôt fini. Oui, t'as appuyé sur l'iPad? Ouais, merci. So, um, I should Papa? place, I should place Papa? some, yeah, <coughs> place other white element on the bottom, oh, what am I doing there, it's not fine, cancel, command Z, Let's fill it with white color. 
Let's create some or shape like this. Here and here on the canvas. Here for fun. And one a uh, copy this rectangle there and one behind the brain. Yeah, I like that it's more playful. Uh, yeah, um, it's too much up, but for now I think it's pretty okay. No, no, Amodine, maintenant je travaille. J'aimerais que tu tu ne fasses pas trop de bruit, s'il te plaît, et tu me laisses me concentrer pour que ça aille plus vite, d'accord? Okay. Um, let's add uh, something on the background, like a uh, gray circle, let's see what happens. Uh, what's this color? Yeah, looks pretty fine. Maybe make it bigger and really on the bottom of all the layers. Mais ça m'endine. Je suis en train de parler, tu vois, dans le micro. À chaque fois que tu parles, ça fait du bruit et j'aimerais vraiment finir le poster rapidement. Alors, s'il te plaît, tais-toi. Tais-toi un moment. Tais-toi un moment. Je sais que le moustique t'a piqué, ça fait mal. Ça pique. Mais oui, bah, si tu grattes, ça va piquer, Amandine. Hein. Si, si, ça va encore plus te piquer. Mais maintenant, j'aimerais finir le poster, d'accord Alors, j'aimerais que tu te taises un moment et après, je m'occupe de toi et on fait une petite cabane. So, I play some other... Non, je regarde pas, Amandine, parce que je travaille là. Tu arrêtes maintenant, tu arrêtes, s'il te plaît, maintenant, je travaille. Calme-toi, fais ce que tu veux. Mais s'il te plaît, me dérange pas pendant un moment, d'accord Je suis désolé, ma belle. Je finis vite. <laughs> ah, she's repeating everything I'm saying. Um, she is repeating everything I am saying. Okay. So here we are. I want to create a last uh, rectangle on the background there and place it like this. Uh, I say everything is too high on the poster, so I select all of them except the two last. And I place them here. Like this, it's